Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and how are you all doing? And welcome to another Thoughts on a Book video. And today's book is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Or, um, or There and Back Again. There's also that title. So, uh, before I uh, summarize the book and uh, tell you what I thought about it, it's actually quite a funny story how I got this copy. Um, it was years ago already. I think I was maybe 15. I, um, I, I mentioned this already several times before. I went to, to a school for kids with special needs. Uh, yeah, special needs. And, uh, you, you know, we had, like a lot of schools, we had a bus that came to pick us up. And in the bus we had, like, a, we had a chaperone. And the usual chaperone has been with me for years that's been on the bus that I went to, she was, uh, sh she was sick for a week, and a replacement came, and, uh, th this lady, the, the one who replaced her, she saw that I read, and the next day, sh she was for a few days only, the next day she brought me this book. Now, at the time, I didn't really know much about The Hobbit. I didn't know what it was or anything at all about it. I thanked her, and I said I would read it. But, like, like, two days later, she she was gone. You know, she, she went to another bus line, and that's it. I've, I've never seen her again, and I had the book with me. And I, br I brought it home, and it was there for years until last year. Last year I read it. I found it again among all the mess. I decided to read it. That was a few years after I saw the movies. And so, last year I finally said, to the, this is the year I'm reading The Hobbit. And so that's how I got this interesting copy, because I, I know there's a whole bunch of editions. I don't know what edition this is. It's very cute. Oh, it's red smog. And it's also very old. But it smells fantastic. Okay, so now we will get to the thoughts. So, The Hobbit is a fantasy story about this world, or Middle Earth, uh, Middle Earth something else, okay. Uh, this fantasy world where we have creatures like the Hobbits, the Dwarves, the or the Orkins, the Elves, and all sorts of other ones. And we focus in the story on Bilbo Baggins, who's a Hobbit, and... As it is known, known to us a lot, the hobbits are very calm creatures. They like routine. They like, you know, solid things. They don't like adventures. No, no, no. No adventures. That's bad for the, you know, reputation with the neighbors and shit. So, um, so the, we have Bilbo Baggins. He's a regular hobbit. He lives in this very pretty hobbit hall. You know, very comfortable and cozy, I think it said. And so, until one day, uh, the wizard, the gray wizard, the gray wizard, I think that's how they pronounce it, said it, Gandalf comes to visit him and tells him, uh, soon a party will come to your house. You know, Bilbo doesn't want that. You know, more guests, less food, <laughs> and all that stuff. But they do come, the, all of the dwarves, and apparently Gandalf has told them that Bilbo is going to be their burglar. For their, um, for their quest. They have a quest. They want to go and get a treasure in the castle from the dragon Smaug. And so at first Bilbo doesn't want to go. But then, but in the end he agrees. And so our journey begins. That's all I'm going to say. I, I don't really want to spoil it. Honestly, I don't think that was a very good summary. But it is what it is. So, I really love this book. I think I gave it, I gave it five stars or four. Five or four. And, you know, it was so cute. You know, the whole journey with Bilbo. And, again, this, like, the, um, the Golden Compass. Again, the action is slow. I don't know if that's how it is or just how I see it. But these books have a slower, more realistic action. You know, things don't happen so fast. They take time. You get stranded. You have to think of how to get out. And, you know, food and water is always an issue. And, and these things happen slower because this is a quest. It takes time. You need, you know, you need food, you need supplies, you need everything for it. So, again, this had slower action. And, of course, it was different from the movies. 
I saw all three movies as well. I think I went to uh, to each one. I yeah, I think I saw them all in the cinema, and I also saw them on TV. I gotta say, I also love the movies. The movies are also pretty great. It's just the movies are more fast paced. They have you know more action, and they have a cool elf girl. Sorry, elf woman. Very cool elf woman. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of other parts that are more different, you know, just to make more, you know, action, more Hollywood. But still, I also love the movies, and I also love the book. <laughs> this is a great fantasy story. I want to read the, um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Right, it's a trilogy, yes. I have tried recently. I have this, I had this big, huge copy, read. With all three books, but it was, it was too much for me. It was all at once. It was huge, small print. Mm -mm. So I'm going. I'm going to get it, and I will read it, but one by one, because really, yeah, because the Hobbit look. It's short. It's cute. I will probably reread it again at some point, maybe next year even. So I really do recommend the Hobbit. Also, I think if I'm not mistaken, a new book is coming out. Tolkien's son is going to, or has already made it from his, uh, from J.R.R. Tolkien's old writings and notebooks or something. Sounds really cool. It's also a book about Middle Earth. Okay, anyway, so I really recommend you read The Hobbit if you like fantasy or if you've ever heard of it and you're curious. I really do recommend you give it a try. I think it's a very good fantasy. It's a very interesting world. Got interesting characters. And also one of the things that... Nowadays, they don't bug me, but, you know, I'm kind of happy when there's a fantasy story that doesn't involve a romance. I mean, I know they're exciting, you know, it's fun, especially... Especially I don't mind when I have sex, but... Honestly, it is refreshing not to have a love story in the middle, like, I can't live without you, and yeah, so that's another thing I love about this. No love stories. Hmm. And also, Gandalf is fucking awesome, so a lot of reasons to give this a try. So these are my thoughts on The Hobbit, and until next time, bye.